This project is called a Geneva cam. I can see that it consists of a circular plate with a center hub and around the outside of the plate there are slots and semicircles cut in a regular pattern. So looking at the size of the plate itself, it has a diameter of 150 millimeters. The slot, uh, the center of the, the end hole of the slot is on a circle center of diameter 75 and has a radius of 6 or a diameter of 12 millimeters. Semicircular part, the center lies on a circle center with a diameter of 180 and the center is 30 degrees from vertical. I've started a new part studio in millimeters. I'll start a sketch put it on the front sketch plane and start with the the outer circle. I'm going to use the origin for my center point and set the diameter 150 millimeters and I know that my slot sits in a vertical direction, that the small hole at the end of the slot is on a whole circle that is a diameter of 75. I'm going to use a construction line that is coincident to the origin. I'll start my construction line using a vertical constraint and end it coincident to the circle. This is going to represent the center line of that slot. I'll use a dimension tool and dimension the end point of that line to the origin. And in this case, I know that the diameter was 75, so I'll just say 75 divided by 2 as the distance. And that establishes the end of the small circle for my slot. To make this slot, I'm going to use my uh, offset option of sl slot, click on the center line that I just drew and set the diameter to 12 and that establishes the slot. Next I'll use another construction line starting from the origin and extending out I'll click and set the distance for this construction line at 180 millimeters. Actually, it should be half of that. So I'm going to end this and edit. This should be 90. It should be half of that. And I'm going to use my dimension tool to set an angle between this line and this other construction line. This should be set at 30 degrees. So now the end point of this construction line becomes the center of my circle. I'm going to use a, a center point arc establishing the end point of this line as the center. I want it to be coincident to the outside circle and coincident again. And now I can set the the radius of this arc to 30 millimeters and that establishes that semicircular cutout. Now these two entities are patterned a total of six times about the center. So to do that I'm going to use a circular pattern from my patterning tool and the first thing it wants me to choose is the items to be patterned. So this semicircle and these components of the slot uh, we patterned about this center point. Now the number of times is here. I'll double click and edit this to six as being my total and I see those and I can see from the arrow pointing that I am uh, patterning that in a 360 degree circle. With this done I can see that the mouse is showing me, the little icon is showing me, click the left mouse button to accept, and it creates that circular array. Now I notice that 
each of these components after they're copied in do not contain constraints that will make them fully defined. But I can use a fix. Maybe I'll fix the center point of this circle slot to establish a, uh, a fixed position and now these all become constrained. Lastly, I'll establish the holes and the circles for the hub. I'll make this coincident to the origin. The hole has a diameter of 25 millimeters and the outside of the hub has a diameter of 45. So with these two uh, circles established, I'm going to right click, confirm the sketch, and change to isometric. I can now use my extrude tool. This is going to be in this region, and it automatically chooses these parts. I want a blind uh, extrusion of 5 millimeters from the sketch plane and I'll accept this to create this part. Looking at the size of the hub, I can see that the hub extends from the back edge of the plate a total of 15 millimeters to the left or to the front and 5 millimeters to the back for a total of 20 millimeters. So to create the hub, I'll use my extrude tool. I'm going to click on this part of the sketch that is the hub. Notice that it's being added to this existing part. I know that I want it to extend from that sketch plane forward 15 millimeters, but I also want it to extend from the back of the sketch plane. To do this I'll click on second end position and this time choose 5 so that it extends behind the sketch plane 5 millimeters to make a total of 20. With this I'll accept that feature and I'll turn off the visibility of the sketch, click on the eyeball in my features list and here I have my finished part. 